Imagine living in a world where your once vibrant, high-spirited self is slowly dimmed by the darkness of low vibrations. Picture your energy, your joy, and your inner peace being consumed by the negativity and heaviness of those around you without any means to escape or cleanse yourself. Not a pretty sight, right? That's why we want to learn how to protect our high vibrations when we come in contact with their counterparts, low vibrations. A sad truth is that many people with naturally high vibrations end up losing their light by surrounding themselves with people with lower vibrations, sometimes without knowing the harmful effect they have on them. But then, how can we avoid this? Keep your vibrations high. Imagine walking into a room filled with people, some exude warmth and positivity, instantly lifting your spirits. Others, however, seem to carry a heavy cloud of negativity, pulling you down. This stark contrast in energies is a reflection of their vibrational states. High vibrations resonate with love, joy and peace, while low vibrations are often associated with fear, anger and sadness. The challenge lies in how we manage our own vibrations in the presence of such contrasting energies. In a world teeming with diverse energies, it's essential to master the art of maintaining high vibrations, especially when surrounded by low vibrational people. Whether in personal relationships, workplaces or social interactions, these encounters can either drain your energy or become opportunities for growth and resilience. Understanding how to navigate these dynamics can transform your life, fostering a sense of peace and empowerment amidst the chaos. One way to understand this dynamic is through the lens of ancient philosophies and spiritual teachings. In Buddhism, there is a concept called mudita, or sympathetic joy. It is the ability to find happiness in the joy of others, regardless of your own circumstances. By developing mudita, you can elevate your own vibrations and create a buffer against negative energies. This practice is a testament to the power of maintaining an inner state of joy and contentment, irrespective of external influences. Similarly, the ancient wisdom of Kabbalah offers insights into maintaining high vibrations. The Kabbalistic Tree of Life, with its ten sefiro, represents different aspects of our existence and divine qualities. By embodying these qualities such as chest, mercy, and tiferet, harmony, we can navigate interactions with low vibrational people without compromising our own energy. These teachings remind us that our spiritual journey is about recognizing and embodying our divine essence, even in the face of negativity. However, maintaining high vibrations is not merely about spiritual practices, it's also about practical, everyday strategies. Mindfulness, for instance, plays a crucial role in this process. By staying present and aware of your own thoughts and emotions, you can prevent yourself from being swept away by the negativity around you. Mindfulness allows you to observe your reactions and choose responses that align with your higher self, rather than reacting impulsively to low vibrational triggers. Imagine you're at a family gathering and a relative starts complaining about their life, projecting their frustrations onto you. Instead of absorbing their negativity, you can practice mindful breathing, stabilizing yourself in the present moment. By doing so, you create a mental and emotional shield that protects your high vibrations from being contaminated by their low energy. This simple yet powerful practice can transform how you interact with low vibrational people turning potential drains into opportunities for growth. Another effective strategy is setting clear and healthy boundaries. Boundaries are not walls that shut people out, but rather guidelines that protect your energy. They help you maintain a sense of self amidst the fluctuating energies around you. When you set boundaries, you communicate your needs and limits, ensuring that your interactions are respectful and balanced. This not only preserves your high vibrations, but also teaches others how to interact with you in a way that is harmonious and uplifting. For example, if you have a friend who constantly brings negativity into your conversations, you can set a boundary by gently steering the discussion towards more positive topics or limiting the time you spend with them. This doesn't mean you abandon your friend. 
Instead, you prioritize your own well-being while still offering support. By setting such boundaries, you maintain your high vibrations and create a more positive environment for both yourself and those around you. Consider the metaphor of a garden. If you tend to your garden regularly, watering the plants, removing weeds, and ensuring adequate sunlight, your garden will flourish. Similarly, by tending to your inner garden through self-care, you cultivate a vibrant and resilient energy field that can withstand external negativity. This practice not only boosts your vibrations, but also enhances your overall well-being, allowing you to thrive in any environment. Moreover, embracing a regular practice of self-care is vital in maintaining high vibrations. Self-care encompasses activities that nourish your body, mind and spirit, replenishing your energy reserves. This can include meditation, exercise, spending time in nature or engaging in creative pursuits. By dedicating time to self-care, you strengthen your inner resources, making it easier to navigate low vibrational encounters without being drained. But there's one way studied by ancient sages and modern researchers that's certain to keep your vibrations as high as possible. Not many people can do this effectively because it requires considerable effort every day. Ready to learn what it is? It's gratitude. This powerful practice shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is abundant in your life. It elevates your mood and amplifies positive energy, creating a powerful shield against low vibrations. But it's easy to express gratitude when all is well. It's when your days are most challenging and when low vibrations seem to abound in your surroundings that expressing gratitude becomes harder. Master this and you'll be able to attune yourself to the frequency of love and appreciation, making it easier to maintain high vibrations even in challenging situations. Picture yourself in a stressful situation at work where a colleague is spreading negativity. Instead of being pulled into the vortex of complaints and criticism, you take a moment to reflect on the things you are grateful for. Perhaps the supportive team members, the opportunities your job provides, or the small achievements you've made. This shift in focus can instantly elevate your vibrations, creating a positive ripple effect that can even influence those around you. In addition to these practical strategies, it's important to remember that maintaining high vibrations is a continuous journey. It requires consistent effort and awareness. However, each time you successfully navigate a low vibrational encounter, you strengthen your ability to maintain your own energy. Over time, this practice becomes second nature, allowing you to move through the world with greater ease and positivity. The ancient parable of the lotus flower beautifully illustrates this journey. The lotus grows in muddy waters, yet it blooms into a pristine and beautiful flower, untouched by the dirt around it. Similarly, by cultivating high vibrations, you can remain untainted by the negativity in your environment, blossoming into your highest self, regardless of external circumstances, maintaining your vibrational health. Furthermore, it's essential to acknowledge that encountering low vibrational people is a part of life. These interactions can serve as valuable learning experiences, helping you to refine your ability to maintain high vibrations. Each challenge is an opportunity to practice and strengthen your spiritual resilience. In essence, maintaining high vibrations around low vibrational people is about embracing a holistic approach that integrates spiritual wisdom with practical strategies. By cultivating mindfulness, setting boundaries, practicing self-care and expressing gratitude, you create a robust foundation for high vibrational living. This foundation not only shields you from external negativity, but also radiates positivity, potentially uplifting those around you. Just as physical health requires attention to diet, exercise and rest, vibrational health involves nurturing our energy field, ensuring it remains strong and balanced. By prioritizing vibrational health, we create a resilient aura that can withstand the impact of low vibrational encounters, allowing us to thrive regardless of external circumstances.
One of the most insidious aspects of low vibrations is how they can alter our perception of reality. When we are constantly surrounded by negative energy, it becomes challenging to see the world through a positive lens. Our thoughts, beliefs and attitudes can become tainted by the low vibrations we are absorbing, leading us to adopt a pessimistic and cynical outlook on life. This shift in perception can create a self-fulfilling prophecy where our negative expectations and beliefs attract more negativity into our lives, perpetuating the cycle of low vibrations. The longer we remain in a state of low vibration, the more difficult it becomes to break free. It is as if we are sinking into quicksand, where each struggle to escape only pulls us deeper into the mire. Without effective strategies to cleanse and protect our energy, we may find ourselves trapped in this low vibrational state, unable to access the light and positivity that once defined our existence. However, all is not lost. Even in the darkest of times, there is always a glimmer of hope and a path back to higher vibrations. It begins with awareness, recognizing the signs of low vibrational infection and acknowledging the need for change. From this place of awareness, we can start to implement practices and strategies to cleanse our energy and elevate our vibrations. Let's try an exercise to achieve this easier. Imagine your body as a finely tuned instrument. To produce beautiful music, it must be in perfect harmony. Similarly, to maintain high vibrations, we must be attuned to our energy levels, recognizing what elevates us and what brings us down. This awareness enables us to take proactive steps in nurturing our vibrational health, ensuring we remain aligned with our highest selves. One of the foundational practices for vibrational health is grounding. Grounding, also known as earthing, involves connecting with the Earth's natural energy. It helps stabilize our energy field, reducing the effects of negative vibrations. Think of grounding as plugging into the Earth's energy grid, allowing us to recharge and balance our own energy. This can be achieved through simple activities such as walking barefoot on grass, spending time in nature, or practicing grounding meditation. Consider the practice of grounding meditation. Find a quiet space, sit comfortably, and visualize roots extending from your feet deep into the earth. Imagine drawing up nourishing energy from the earth, filling your entire being with stability and strength. This visualization not only grounds your energy, but also fosters a sense of connection with the natural world, enhancing your vibrational health. Movement plays a vital role in vibrational health. Physical activity helps release stagnant energy and promotes the flow of life force energy throughout our bodies. Whether it's yoga, dancing or a brisk walk, regular movement keeps our energy vibrant and dynamic. Imagine the invigorating feeling after a good workout or a dance session. This is your vibrational health being rejuvenated. From the African spiritual tradition, the Yoruba belief system offers a unique perspective on energy and vibrations. In Yoruba spirituality, it is believed that each person has an Ori or spiritual head, which guides and protects them. Maintaining a strong connection with one's Ori is essential for keeping high vibrations. This involves regular rituals, prayers and offerings to honor and strengthen this spiritual connection. By staying connected to our Ori, we can ensure that our energy remains high and that we are protected from negative influences. This practice emphasizes the importance of spiritual discipline and connection in maintaining our vibrational health. Exploring an obscure belief, the ancient Gnostic tradition provides an intriguing perspective. Gnosticism teaches that true spiritual knowledge, Gnosis, is the key to transcending the material world and its low vibrations. According to Gnostic thought, the material world is filled with distractions and illusions that lower our vibrations. By seeking inner knowledge and understanding, we can rise above these distractions and connect with higher divine vibrations. This belief highlights the importance of inner work and spiritual understanding in maintaining high vibrations and protecting ourselves from the negative influences of the material world. But why do people suffer low vibrations? 
Knowing this information, you'll have an easier time safeguarding yourself from the situations that cause them. It turns out that low vibrational people tend to suffer from unresolved trauma, chronic stress, negative thought patterns, and unhealthy habits. Life's challenges and hardships can weigh heavily on these individuals, trapping them in a cycle of negativity and low energy. It is important to remember that low vibrational states are not fixed. They can change and improve with the right support and practices. Why do people suffer low vibrations? When individuals experience trauma, whether from childhood, relationships or other life events, it can create deep-seated emotional wounds. These unhealed wounds often manifest as negative emotions such as fear, anger, sadness and resentment. Over time, these emotions lower an individual's vibrational frequency, making it difficult for them to access positive high vibrational states. Chronic stress and anxiety also play a major role. In today's fast-paced world, many people experience constant pressure from work, financial worries and personal responsibilities. This ongoing stress can deplete their energy reserves and contribute to a low vibrational state. When individuals are stuck in survival mode, their energy becomes scattered and unfocused, making it challenging to maintain a high vibration. Negative thought patterns and limiting beliefs further compound the issue. Our thoughts have a powerful impact on our energy. People who habitually engage in negative self-talk, pessimistic thinking and self-doubt are likely to find themselves in a low vibrational state. These thought patterns create a feedback loop, reinforcing the negative energy and making it difficult to break free from the cycle. Unhealthy habits and lifestyle choices also contribute to low vibrations. Poor diet, lack of exercise, insufficient sleep and substance abuse can all lower an individual's vibrational frequency. These habits disrupt the body's natural balance and hinder its ability to function optimally, leading to a decrease in overall energy levels. Understanding the root causes of low vibrational states allows us to approach low vibrational people with empathy and compassion. Instead of judging or distancing ourselves from them, we can become a source of support and inspiration, helping them to elevate their own vibrations. Here are some empathetic approaches we can take to assist low vibrational individuals in raising their energy. First and foremost, it is crucial to listen and offer emotional support. Many low vibrational people feel isolated and misunderstood. By being a compassionate listener, we can provide them with a safe space to express their feelings and experiences. This act of empathy alone can be incredibly healing as it validates their emotions and helps them feel less alone in their struggles. So, how do you help someone suffering from low vibrations to increase their own? A similar strategy to what you do for yourself works here. Encourage them to engage in self-care practices, simple activities such as taking walks in nature, Practicing mindfulness and dedicating time to hobbies and interests can make a significant difference in their vibrational health. By promoting self-care, we empower them to take charge of their well-being and begin the journey towards higher vibrations. Introducing them to the concept of positive affirmations and gratitude can also be transformative. Helping them shift their focus from negative to positive thoughts can gradually raise their vibrational frequency. Remember the transformative power of gratitude. Encourage them to start a gratitude journal where they write down things they are thankful for each day. This practice can help rewire their brain to recognize and appreciate the positive aspects of their lives. Lead by example. It is equally important to lead by example when we consistently maintain our own high vibrations, we naturally inspire those around us to do the same. Our positive energy can be contagious, encouraging low vibrational individuals to elevate their own frequency. By embodying qualities such as love, kindness and compassion, we create an environment that fosters growth and transformation. Introducing them to spiritual practices can also be transformative. 
Practices such as meditation, yoga and energy healing can help them connect with their inner selves and the divine energy that surrounds us all. These practices provide a pathway to self-discovery and healing, enabling them to access higher vibrational states. One particularly powerful practice is the loving-kindness meditation. This meditation involves sending out positive intentions and blessings to oneself and others. It begins with focusing on oneself, offering love and kindness inwardly, and then gradually extending these feelings to others, including those who may be difficult to deal with. This practice not only raises our own vibrations, but also fosters a sense of connection and compassion towards others. Encouraging them to engage in acts of kindness and service can also be transformative. When we help others, we naturally raise our own vibrations. Simple acts of kindness, such as volunteering, helping a neighbor, or even offering a kind word, can have a profound impact on our energy. By encouraging low vibrational individuals to engage in these acts, we help them shift their focus from their own struggles to the joy of giving and connection. Understanding why low vibrational people have low vibrations allows us to approach them with empathy and compassion. By listening, offering emotional support, encouraging self-care, promoting positive thinking, guiding healthier lifestyle choices, and introducing spiritual practices, we can help them elevate their own vibrational frequency. This empathetic approach not only safeguards our own high vibrations, but also contributes to a more harmonious and uplifting environment for everyone involved. So, what happens when we keep our vibrations permanently high? How our life changes when we protect our vibrations? The first noticeable change is an enhanced sense of inner peace. The constant drain of negative energy is replaced by a steady flow of positivity, allowing us to feel more centered and calm. This inner peace is the foundation for many other positive changes that follow. We wake up each day with a sense of tranquility and confidence, knowing that we have the tools to protect ourselves from the negative influences that once overwhelmed us. Spiritually, the connection to our true selves and the divine is strengthened. We feel more aligned with our higher purpose and more attuned to the guidance of our inner wisdom. Spiritual practices such as meditation, prayer and contemplation become more meaningful and fulfilling. We experience moments of profound insight and connection where we feel at one with the universe. This spiritual awakening deepens our sense of gratitude and appreciation for life, filling us with a sense of awe and wonder. We begin to see the interconnectedness of all things, recognizing the divine spark within ourselves and others. As we embody these changes, we also become beacons of light for those around us. Our high vibrations have a ripple effect, influencing the energy of our environment and the people we interact with. We inspire others to raise their own vibrations, creating a collective upliftment that benefits everyone. Our presence becomes a source of comfort and inspiration as others are drawn to the positive energy we radiate. By maintaining our high vibrations, we contribute to the creation of a more compassionate, harmonious and joyful world. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.